Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm gonna show you how to export a transparent background using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! All right, so we've all been here before. We've created an amazing lower third or a cool graphic overlay or maybe even a bomb like and subscribe button. We wonder how do we export this so we can drag and drop this into another file or maybe we wanna send this to somebody so they can use in their videos. Well, today I'm gonna show you the easiest way possible to do so. So right here, I'm gonna use an example. Shouts out to my boy Rocky. I made a killer intro form for his YouTube video, a lower third of his name, and he's starting to edit his own videos, which is awesome because, you know, I taught him everything. So he learned from the best. Instead of confusing him and telling him what format text I use and everything like that, I'm gonna instead send this to him right here. So what you do is you open Final Cut, of course, what you're going to do next is you're going to hit V and you're going to disable the actual video clip. And in this case, I'm going to disable the audio as well. So I primarily only want to focus on what I want out of it, which is his lower third of his name, his logo of his name. Once we have that, we're going to hit R on our keyboard and this is a range selection. And what we do is we just highlight to about there to the duration of your image. After that, we come up here to the share button and we create a master file. Now, when you hit settings, you come down here. I usually have mine at an H.264. That's my standard export on my videos, but we're not doing that this time. We're going to change the codec to Apple ProRes 4444. Came in with the faux faux, man. Now, that extra four at the end is simply put as an alpha channel, which makes it resonate to a clear image, it's a, it's a whole lot of hoorah, all right? Anyways, we do it like this though, the 4444. And I'm gonna name this Rocky Intro. So once you save them, I usually keep them in a folder right here. Now, look, look how easy this is. So I usually keep a folder here, and then this is the images, the transparent images we saved. Excuse the background, I got my kids in the background. But look at this, so I just dragged and dropped, Boom, easy peasy. And that subscribe button, I did the same thing for. That pops in fine. All these are transparent and they literally drag and drop. So when I send this over to Rocky, he can add these to his own video. Simply, I'll send him a folder and boom. Simply like the lemonade. You know, this goes for clients as well. I have clients and you know, let's say I'm working with their video creator and they need the same intro that I laced for them. Well, with this process, same thing. All you do is you hit V, hit the range tool, select what you want, go up top here, share, master file, and always make sure that you're in the Apple ProRes 4444. And don't forget also, don't forget when you're done doing this to change it back to H.264 because your file sizes are gonna be huge, like and you're gonna wonder why. So always change it back, be, be mindful of that. And also if this doesn't work for you, the reason why that might be, since we're doing it with an alpha channel, our blend mode has to be normal. If you do anything different, like add, lighten, screen, any of these blend modes, it's not gonna be transparent. So always be wary of that if you're having difficulty. This is the simplest way to export a transparent background in Final Cut Pro 10. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and whoosh, backhand that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, as well as vlogs, unboxings, reviews, and video business strategies, hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. My kids are going crazy in the background. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya. There we go.